Hi, this is Anthony with a review on the new rapid release Firefox 36, which was released on February 24, 2015. Mozilla updates their browser approximately once every six weeks, and this is the second update in 2015. So let's review some of the notable changes. This new update includes a couple of new features and some enhancements. So first off, as always, there have been a ton of bug fixes and fixes to security vulnerabilities, and Firefox 36 includes over 3,600 bug fixes. In terms of new features, um, you can now sync pinned tiles on the new tab page across computers. So this will only work on the desktop version of Firefox, that is desktops and laptops, not on mobile devices. So if you open a new tab, you know, by clicking this uh, plus sign right up top, or just hitting Control T. Now depending on how you set things up, it will either open a blank page like this, or you will see um, these kind of tiles. Now these tiles are displayed um, basically on websites that you frequently or recently visited. If you see a blank page like this, um, you can click the settings uh, icon right top right and then choose one of these um, um, options, either enhance or classic. And then of course uh, you will see these tiles. So if you hover on one of these tiles, you will see this um, option that allows you to pin the tile. So basically, you know, once you've pinned uh, any of these tiles, you can sync them across uh, various computers. So in order to use this feature, um, you need to make sure that um, you use the uh, sync function that can be found under the options menu, and of course you need to you know, create an account for that. So these, uh, this new feature uh, will not work in private browsing or incognito mode just in regular mode. So the other new feature, um, it's more of a, an improvement, is the support for HTTP2 protocol, which is supposed to enhance our web experience by making things faster and more responsive. Um, HTTP uh, really stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol and is used as a foundation for online data transfer. So the current version that's being used is HTTP 1.1, which was standardized way back in 1999. So eventually uh, it's going to be replaced by this new uh, HTTP 2 protocol. So let's move on. So back in uh, September 2014, in Firefox 32, um, in that update, Mozilla started phasing out the 1024-bit root certificates. And uh, this was done in order to upgrade them uh, to a more secure and trusted 20, uh, 2048 bit certificates. So in phase one, uh, these were the root certificates that were either removed or the SSL and signing code or code signing trust bits were turned off, basically forcing them to use you know a higher version of, um, of the security cert certificates, which is 2048 bit or higher. So in phase two, um, these were the ones, uh, or these were the 1024-bit root certificates that were changed. And we will continue to see, to see more changes as we go um, and see more of these updates. Other changes in Firefox 36 include um, several HTML5 improvements. And one of the notable ones is the improved uh, ES6, or um, ES6 really stands for uh, ECMA Script 6. And uh, it's going to provide better performance, uh, and it's essentially a new version of uh, JavaScript, and it's supposed to be about 22 times faster. Users will now see a crash reporter if and when f the you know the Firefox uh, browser crashes. I've personally not uh, experienced any crashes in a while, so it's a good thing. And uh, there are a couple of uh, improvements for developers as well. Um, you can find all the um, you know Firefox 36 uh, release notes, uh, which basically lists down the full list of uh, new features and changes. And I will leave a link in the description section of this YouTube video. So every time I upgrade Firefox, I run the br browser benchmark test using Peacekeeper, and I've been impressed with the results since uh, the last update, uh, which showed significant improvements. In fact, for the first time, Firefox has outperformed Google Chrome, as you can see from the results here, 20, uh, 2561 as opposed to 2321. And as you can see from this chart, in the past, Google Chrome has uh, you know, outperformed Firefox uh, when you look at the benchmark results. Of course, these will vary depending on you know, user to user. Um, your results may be different, so it's, it's good to just run this uh, 
a Peacekeeper benchmark test. Also, if you use many Firefox add-ons, uh, you may want to wait for a few days until you get the, the new updated version of Firefox. Uh, not all the add-ons will be compatible with this uh, latest version. I do not use too many add-ons, but most of mine were not compatible with uh, Firefox 36, as of yet at least. Uh, the good thing is that um, Firefox automatically checks for any of the um, updated um, compatible versions and it will update them. So that's pretty much a quick uh, overview of the new Firefox 36 browser update. Uh, hope you found this useful. Uh, you know, you will find a whole bunch of uh, Firefox tutorials um, and reviews on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check in. And as usual, if you've got any questions, you know, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Cheers!